Hey guys, welcome back. It's Mr. Vince, and I hope you all have a wonderful day today. In this video, I'm going to be playing Roblox the Classic. I'm not even joking. This is an actual Roblox event. That will last until Tuesday. So, I actually decided to make a video on this because, as I promised, I would pretty much make a gameplay video every Saturday if I have the chance to. And so I wanted to check out this game before the event ends. And I believe if I'm not mistaken, just like The Hunt, this game is going to stay. So you'll be able to play it if you want, so that's kind of cool. And I am actually using R6 because R6 is actually a little bit better to use than R15 for many things, including rocket jumping. And this is what I mean. So as you can see, I can rocket jump myself like this, it works. You can also use the time bomb to launch yourself up into the air, but it is kind of precise, so it doesn't work all the time. Unless if perhaps they made a change with the bomb, but I'm not sure. Yeah, they didn't change it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. I would not recommend using R15 if I were you. At least in the main hub itself. The game is pretty cool. As you can see, we got a bunch of things, including the epic duck and various mini games. So we got the cart ride, the obbies over there, and even the car mini game. If you guys remember that from a couple old Roblox games, we also got captured the flag. So. I'm going to go ahead and just bring the red flag over to the blue flag, which is way over there. The most convenient way to do capture the flag is to use, I think, the yellow checkpoint. And then just go over here, and then you'd get yourself, I think, one token for doing this. So if I go ahead and go over here, uh, capture the flag... Is this one right here? Yeah, you do get a token for doing that. You have to do it three times, by the way. You can do either blue or red. It doesn't matter. Both will count. And by the way, you do need to find this yellow checkpoint first. So for those wondering, it's over here. You just walk inside, and then it should activate. And then walk inside of it again, and you'll be teleported. So that's kind of cool. And then over here, we got these two bundles, the Treasure Finder and Timeless Valkyrie. These items are extremely expensive. So expensive to the point where I can't even buy them through the console. What is the ticks machine? I can't move for some reason. <laughs> um, I'm talking to no one. Yeah, just kidding. Chat ended because he walked away. <laughs> Rocket jump time. Yeah, see? You could rocket jump like that. It's kind of funny. It works. This guy is trying to get me to get inside of a game. That's what a lot of people did, so yeah. I love the fact that you can actually destroy stuff using rockets or bombs. So you can do that. Yeah, it kind of worked. But yeah, you can see that the lamppost has been destroyed. You could do the same with various things, especially the Roblox headquarters. But yeah, you can see that the rocket jumping works, and it's actually kind of fun. I also got the block state over here. For those who don't know how to get a drink inside of this game, what you have to do is to get at least one ticks. You can get ticks by either doing quests in the main hub or just by finding ticks inside of various Roblox games that were sponsored. And then you'll be able to get yourself the drink coin. And then I would recommend buying the block aid because I think you need the block aid to get a quest complete. So go over to the helper bot and then give him the block aid and it should work. I'm pretty sure the helper bot is over here. Yeah, I don't know where he's at. Uh, yeah, he's usually around here, but he just disappeared. So here are the games that are part of the event. So we got tower defense, Clip it. 
I honestly love to clip it. I think this was one of the best games I've played in this event, honestly. Over here we got Gunfight Arena, Driving Empire, Just to Impress, Adopt Me, uh, Dusty Trip, Blade Ball, Bee Swarm Simulator, Bed Wars, uh, Dragon Adventures, Toilet Tower Defense, Restaurant Tycoon 2, Lifetopia, and Arsenal. So, you don't actually have to play all of those games to get every single prize. Now, as you can see, I do have every single prize that is part of the event. At least for right now. So, that's not too bad. I will probably try to get more ticks because I'm not sure if this machine is going to do anything. Uh, but, we'll see. So, we got a lot of crazy stuff to check out. So, we got the rubber duckies over here. We got the evil duck. How you doing, Evil Duck? We got the pirate ship that you can literally destroy. The disappearing platforms. Yes, they do in fact disappear. We also got that random castle. The admin house, or the happy home of Robloxia. These platforms over here. We got the coffee shop. And since I'm playing on console, I cannot do the Magic Mirror quest, but to begin with, I already completed it, so yeah. You can also see that I got every single ticks related item, so I got the dog morph over here. You guys remember morphing into different Roblox characters? Yeah, I got the dog here. When I first got this, I thought you could morph into the dog, but apparently it's just a dog on a leash, so that's interesting. We also got the bomb over here, you know, the classic bomb that works, I guess. I mean, just do that and then boom, you get flung pretty hard, at least if you're good at using the bomb. Over here we got the super ball. You do need to use the super ball for quest. It's actually very easy to complete, especially if a player is using R15. And then obviously we got the Bloxade and everybody's favorite weapon, the Rocket Launcher. Because <laughs> it's probably one of the best weapons and pretty much everyone has been using it, so there's that. Over here we got the Happy Home of Robloxia, so you can actually remove your hats by going over here and you just have to step on that. And then you can just equip any of these items. So we got the regular Builders Club, Hat, the Turbo Builders Club hat, the Outrageous Builders Club hat, and we also got one of the hats that you can get for buying the Outrageous Builders Club. I forgot the name of it, but it is a type of hood, so that's kind of cool. And over here, you can also morph into any of these. So we got, I'm pretty sure that's old Roblox. I could be wrong though. Uh, we got an old guest, another old guest, that type of guest that you would no longer find on Roblox. I think that was from like 2016 or so. And then we got the noob. So for this video I'm going to be a guest from 2016. And I'm just going to wear the hood. Yeah, there you go. And then we also got some nice pictures of some generic Roblox games. We got the cow, um, whatever that game is. Um, yeah, I don't know all these games to be honest. I definitely recognize Survive the Disasters, though. You guys remember that? Yeah, Survive the Disasters. If you were an old Roblox player, you would definitely know what these are. Unless if you forgot. I'm actually not an old Roblox player. I only played Roblox since 2017. So, fairly, I don't know all of this. So, yeah. But I definitely recognize a couple things, like the morphs and the Bloxade. But, yeah. Kind of cool that you can actually chat on console. But, um, as you can see, it doesn't work, so that's a rip. Alright, but over here we got the racing game, so you can actually race inside of these race cars. And boom, I just started a race. So, you have to be a little bit careful with the go-karts. They're actually kind of hard to control, especially if you're playing with a joystick. So... It's actually not too bad, but it is kind of annoying. And you have to do this three times to complete a quest, so there's that. 
Alright, we'll go ahead and do this over here. There we go. I like the fact that when you exit a go-kart, the lap time just stops. Over here we also got the guessing doors. So for those who don't know, in order we got Builderman, Shedletsky, Clockwork, Telemon, and 1x1x1x1. So I'll probably leave that in the description for those who want to memorize the guessing door names. So there you go. There are also tutorials out there that will teach you how to do the guessing doors, so don't worry. Alright, but anyways. So over here we got the ticks machine. And we also got ourselves the vending machine that consists of these four items. The block shade, chocolate milk, the witch's brew, and the bloxy cooler. Kinda cool, I'm not gonna lie. Roblox. Welcome to Roblox. Play games with your friends, create your own cool places, customize your avatar, and so much more. Now, genuinely, you should be completely creative with your avatars. Oh my goodness, is that a rainbow? <laughs> if you guys want to get on that rainbow, you have to say rainbow in the chat. All lowercase, by the way. Unfortunately, you cannot do this on console without someone helping you out, so yeah. I think the rainbow is going to disappear on me. I don't know. But basically what you have to do is get on the rainbow. And if you make it onto the pot of gold, you can just go over here and get inside. And boom, you're inside of this room. And over here we got the old Roblox avatar preview background. Kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. This is basically behind the scenes. So, yeah. You can't destroy it, by the way. Honestly, I do think Roblox should add in the ability to change your own avatar editor background. That would be awesome. Because we could definitely have this back, but there's that. Oh yeah, we got the classic Roblox jacket available. By the time this video gets released to YouTube, you can still buy it. It's actually extremely cheap though, so over here it's only 79 Robux. Yeah, all these items are pretty much cheaper than the items you can buy from the hunt, so... Roblox listened, and a lot of these items are extremely cheap, so that's kind of nice. But we only had two of them so far, so we're not entirely sure. Oh yeah, I don't think you can jump and use the bomb at the same time. That doesn't work. I think you have to do that, <laughs> but even then, it's extremely weak, so that kind of sucks. And then we got the clouds, so I'm just going to fall down here, and boom, I just died. Oh yeah, you can also see your own join date. So you can see that I joined in 2018 on this account. On my old account, Psychedi like Ultra, I've joined in 2017 on those. So, yeah. Now, what game am I going to do for this video? Hmm, that's a good question. You know what, let's do Clip It. Because I think a lot of you are probably not going to have a hard time getting Clip It. Oh wait. The game doesn't work. Ah, never mind then. <laughs> oh yeah, guys. I don't think you can do clip it on console. So I'm going to have to do a different game. Hmm. Let's do... Bed Wars, because why not? I know, some of you probably saw me play Bed Wars before. So I'm going to be doing it again for this video. Alright, well here I am inside of Bed Wars... I actually did play this game for the most part on Thursday and Friday morning, so I'm not relatively new. Alright, let me go ahead and uh, do this over here. I don't want to buy a miner. No, thank you. Uh, let me go ahead and equip this uh, right here. You can rent kits now? What? I didn't know that was a thing. I have never played Bed Wars on console, by the way, so I'm actually new to this. But we do have a new mode called Penguin Survival for Roblox Classic. And basically, what you have to do is to survive up to wave 10. And if you do survive wave 10, you do get all 5 tokens. But you do get tokens based on the wave you have completed. So, if you complete wave 8, I believe you will get 3 of the 5. So, that's kind of cool. Also, how do you run? Oh, there you go. I just had to press left stick. I pretty much forgot. The controls for this game so yeah all right we got an axolotl over here um go ahead and buy in all right so i bought myself 
um, some armor, and uh, we do that. Okay. Apparently, we need to defend our base, and you will find two ticks in the main game, and you'll find eight in the lobby. So finding ticks in Bedwars isn't too bad. So there you go. All right, let's go ahead and fight off the penguins. Some of them will fall from the sky close to your own bed, so you gotta be careful. All right, let me go ahead and defend the bed from these annoying penguins. I somehow got an emerald from that. All right, let's continue fighting the penguins. I don't wanna try to die. Why in the world am I getting an emerald for killing a penguin? <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit too much. I think it's just those penguins. I don't know. All right, so we got this one right here as well. I'm trying not to die. There we go. I just got some iron from killing a penguin. Let's see how many penguins we can fend off. Yeah, we're not really defending the bed right. We're just literally over there. All right, let me go ahead and do that. There we go. So that round, I was able to get about 60 iron and two emeralds. I think it's recommended that you buy obsidian to cover the bed with, because for one, it is very resistant to TNT and other explosions. And for two, obsidian takes a while to mine. And that includes penguin mining. So penguins are gonna have a hard time main. So penguins are gonna have a hard time mining obsidian. So that's kind of nice. And unfortunately, I don't have enough for the iron armor yet. So I'm only gonna buy these two. And uh, I got stuck with that again. I don't like that. It's kind of annoying. All right, let's go ahead and do this over here. I can't even select my inventory. Yeah, that's a bit frustrating. How in the world do you play Bedwars on console? It's kind of annoying. All right, yeah, I'm trying not to die, but uh, yeah, there you go. I finally got it. It's so annoying when you have to do that every time. All right, well, somebody died from a penguin. That kind of sucks. Yeah, the top penguins are annoying to deal with. They have more health, so yeah. It looks like a lot of penguins are trying to kill me. All right, let me go ahead and do this over here. And yeah, I just got killed by a penguin. Apparently, you can get killed by Void. <laughs> That's funny. And sadly, you do lose your materials when you do end up getting killed. So that kind of sucks. And some penguins love to glitch inside of blocks. So that's pretty annoying. All right, let me go ahead and just kill this penguin over here. This penguin is still alive. Holy cow, we gotta mine this. There, kill the penguin. Yeah, that that's frustrating. This penguin is literally glitched. Uh, that means our bed is definitely going to be destroyed if we're not quick enough. Yeah, this penguin is glitched, so our bed is completely screwed up. Uh, yeah, I can't even mine this. So, uh, developers, can you please fix this? Uh, I can't even destroy the penguin. Yeah, there you go. We finally got the penguin out there. Yeah, that's what you get for glitching, tall penguin. We had to literally destroy some blocks for that, so... If anyone felt that pain, please let me know. Yeah, I hope I'm not the only one, but there we go. We got a couple more upgrades, and I am a little bit weak because I only have armor. That is pretty underpowered. So let's see if we can defend off the penguins this wave. I don't really mind if I don't end up surviving this wave, but I just want to show you guys what it's like to play Bed Wars, so... Yeah, I have not played Bed Wars on console before, so I am a newbie. Alright, well here we go. Let's go fight off the penguins once again. Yeah, I'm going to be a little bit frustrated because the penguins are going to be even stronger than usual. And one of the penguins literally glitched inside of the blocks, so that does get a bit annoying. Yeah, apparently the top penguins are actually just extremely powerful. Because even though they're really tall, they can easily fit through one block gaps. So, yeah. Also, why is this penguin chasing me? <laughs> what do you want from me? I didn't even do anything to you, man. Alright, well, the bed is now gone, which means the enemies are going to be able to kill us. So, unless if I manage to survive, then yeah, we're basically screwed. And the penguins go even faster than usual. And it looks like there are only two people left. And for some reason, a lot of the penguins are chasing him. Some of them are chasing me. So yeah, I'm probably going to die. And that guy died of fall damage. So rip. 
<laughs> yeah, you can see I'm just basically doomed. The penguins are going to be able to easily kill me. But yeah, that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I had a fun time making this. But yeah, please feel free to let me know what you guys think. I'll be continuing to make more gameplay really videos for you guys on the channel. So please don't you worry. I'm also going to most likely be testing out some live streaming very soon. Probably this week or next week. So yeah, I just never really had the nerve to live stream and stuff. So yeah, <laughs> there's only two people in the server. So let me go ahead and just uh, die because these penguins are way too overpowered. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, yeah, GG's. <laughs> it's been so long since I actually played Bed Wars. I don't know how long it's been, but it's kind of fun. Yeah, you can see if I go over the kit owned, I just pretty much have all these kits. Some of you might be jealous, but that's okay. Uh, where's that kit I loved using? Oh, yeah, this one. Alright, well, I hope you guys have enjoyed. My name is Mr. Vince, and I hope you have a great day.